Hi guys, welcome to another Transformers toy review. This time it's going to be a bit of an unboxing video. I picked up these kind of blind bag or blind box uh, bot bots from Sainsbury's. Uh, this is from a supermarket in the UK. So these were £3 each. Obviously you don't see which ones are in it. I don't know if there's any code to work out who's who. If there is, be interested to find out. So I've got six here at three pounds each. Hopefully I'll get a little bit more luck than I did with the uh, Megatrons and uh, Star Screams. So fingers crossed. So we're just gonna dive straight in and have a look. So they've all got the same packaging. You've got the cool kind of artwork on here. It's very kind of kid friendly. I wonder if they'll do a cartoon of this of these little guys would be interesting because they've all got their own little factions. And it just shows you the two modes here, little transformation sequence. And on the back just shows you how you kind of open them up. So you literally just open them up like this. There are little codes on here. Uh, so I don't know if that's displayed anywhere else. Oh yeah, there is a little code on here. So I reckon those are gonna be matching up with each one. So. This one's 22, so I'll just uh, push this guy out. Take a look to see who we've got. I, looks like it's one that I haven't got. So I've got this guy here. Not quite sure how he transforms. I think you pull these bits out. He looked to be his arms. From what I can see. God, they're a bit tricky to pull out. Do if his legs move around like that. We do have his little instructions just in here. So open this guy up and it should show you his name. So his name's Cranks. Yeah, so that's pretty much how he transforms. You just I just need to pull the arms out a little bit more, it looks like. But they do kind of come out like that. A little bit on the stiff side, but uh, you get the idea. It's that guy. So I'll move him off to one side. Have a look at the next one. Ah, uh, 20. So I'm betting you that's going to be the same. Oh no, it is a different one altogether, so maybe it's not related. So this guy's a little pair of scissors. Pull this out as well. Little pair of scissors here, and what's this guy called? This is Snippy Snappy. Looks like you just fold his legs out like that. That's his head. Okay, so it looks as if it's just kind of like that. That looks like it's him. So that's done. Uh, I'll try and whiz through these guys so you can see all the different ones. That's got 19 written on it. So far, I've been quite lucky with these. And so that is another new one. One I don't have as well, so let's take a look at this guy. I'm just going to open this bit up to see what his name is. Uh, Professor Wellread. So he's a, a book. That's what he looks like. So this is his kind of book mode. Looks if you kind of open him up like this. 
and pull his little legs out if you can. That's the one criticism I would have of these sets is they are there's little bits where you've got to pull the legs and feet out and sometimes they are a little bit tricky to do. But there you are, you've got him there. Doesn't look as if the arms or legs move. That's pretty decent. So another one. So so far, all three have not been. So that's 14 it says on here. Ah, uh, looks like another new one. This guy here. These bits are a little bit tricky to get out. I recognise this guy, I can't remember what he's called. Have a look. Ventus Frog Trap. And from memory, looking at this guy, it doesn't seem as if he has very much of a transformation other than you just kind of pop his legs out, really, from what I can see. Because he looks already... Seems like you just kind of bend this forward. This kind of opens up as his mouth. And then these bits kind of fold down. As well. And these, I think these bits come out. Again, where's my little doodab? Just kind of just pulls it, pulls these bits out. So, so you see with these bits, they do, they're not very easy to pull out, and they do have a habit of kind of dropping out. Um, so I should be able to get those out. So I think that comes out the other way. See, so that's the trouble. You know, this is, these are designed for kids, but you know, that's going to be really difficult for kids to try and get out without kind of breaking it, really. Yeah, so I've just kind of damaged it quite a bit doing that. But you get the idea that these bits all kind of come out. And then just pop these bits back in. Like so. You got them like that. Without focus. So I will sort out his other leg later. Leave that to the side. And take a look at this one, 18 on the side here, and another new one, uh, one of the tor his torchlight one. Let's see what his name is. Get these guys out. And this guy's name is Dimlet. That's how he transforms. So you see he's a cool little torch thing. And you just, oh, you turn that bit around like that. Pull his arms out. Like so. And then, because if you pop his legs down as well. Again, these arms are a little bit tricky to pull out. But cool little guy. And we've got our last one. This is number 13. So let's see who we've got in here. Oh, I think it's another new one. So we've done pretty well out of this set. So we haven't got any duplicates whatsoever done very well and this guy's name is Root Wing uh, so he's from the Shed Heads so it shows you all the other ones in that collection I think I've got that one there 
and uh, he kind of opens up from what it looks like. Yeah, so these bits come out here, to his feet. Like that. Pull them down. And these bits open up, like so. I think these bits kind of come down somewhat. You can kind of rotate these bits around. It kind of looks a bit like a, a squirrel. I think that bit's supposed to come down at the end. So it looks like he's got like a little tail on him. Yeah, I'd say it's like a squirrel or something like that. It's a little bit unusual, but uh, overall pretty pleased with him. So yes, we've got um, root wing here, um, and that guy is part of the shed heads. We've got Dimlet, that guy here. And he is one of the lost bots, so he kind of doesn't sort of belong to proper faction as such. We've got Venus Frog Trap, and he belongs to the Shed Heads as well. So pop them over there. So those two are part of the same gang. We've got Professor Wellred, and he belongs to the Backpack Bunch. And then we've got Snippy Snappy. And again, he belongs to the backpack bunch. So it's like school accessories. And, and then we've got um, Cranks, who's kind of like a pencil sharpener. Again, he belongs to the backpack bunch. So there you are. So that's all of those guys all together, all six of them. I uh, hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this and uh, yeah, I've had, looks as if I've had a little bit of upturn in fortune with these guys. So uh, six new characters to add to the collection. Thanks for watching guys and see you all soon. Bye bye for now.